21st of uh, June uh, 2023. So, guys, uh, the employment law team from uh, Cliff Decker of May is saying that Zimbabwe exemption permit holders are legally permitted to work in South Africa until December 31, 2023, if, if their applications for other visas are not successfully said Tyne York, a member of the team, you are still legally allowed to work and live in South Africa even if your application is unsuccessful. You can still work until that time, 31st of December. That will also give you enough time to apply for an appeal against the outcome of your visa depending on the reasons it was rejected. So they, so they as uh, the EP holders would not need to leave immediately. One of the benefits of this extension is for ZEP holders to try to obtain an alternative mainstream visa in terms of the Immigration Act visa, which could be granted for a period of up to five years. The Critical Skills visa, also granted for a period of up to five years. ZEP holders can also consider applying for a spousal visa or a relative visa. They can also consider applying for a study visa, which will still allow them to work in South Africa but there would be a limitation on number of hours they would be allowed to work a week which is currently kept at 20 hours a week. The South African government extended the EP which has allowed tens of thousands of Zimbabweans to live, work and study in South Africa since 2009 by six months to December due to a wave of visa and waiver applications. As of September 2022, Around 178,000 Zimbabweans living in South Africa hold ZEPs, while approximately 700,000 Zimbabweans reside in South Africa. The extension will provide ZEP holders with enough time to appeal the outcome of their visa applications depending on the reasons for rejection. ZEP holders can apply for alternative visas, including general work permit, critical skills, sports or relatives, or study visas. However, due to a backlog of almost 63,000 applications, those who have not already applied are unlikely to receive an outcome by December 31st. ZEP holders must have a valid visa to work, but employers can provide information on alternative visas and fair labor practices. Employers must terminate employment fairly with a valid reason. Earlier this year, the Helen Suzman Foundation, the Consortium for Refugees and Migrants in South Africa, and the Zimbabwe Immigration Federation challenged the department's decision to terminate the permits, arguing that it violated the EP holders' constitutional rights. In addition, Groundup reported that Zimbabwean exemption permit holders are seeking permanent residency in South Africa. Director of Employment Law Practice and Immigration at Clerk Dika of Mayor, Gillian Lamb, said that fair labor practice rules would apply to ZEP holders and deportation would require a fair return of employment. So guys, that's the latest here. Yes, uh, according to uh, Employment Law uh, Team uh, from uh, Clerk uh, Dika of Mayor, they're saying that uh, Zimbabweans are still uh, legally allowed to work and live in South Africa even if your application is unsuccessful. You can still work until uh, that time which is uh, 31st of December uh, 2023 and uh, so uh, it also give you time to appeal against the outcome of your visa depending on the reasons uh, why your visa was rejected. And the second, I shall say, where you know, co apply my waivers, my permits are your upper mainstream, my major accounts, I apply general work permit, uh, visitors visa, or you know, student visa. You know, we need to apply those permits, uh, before uh, the 31st of uh, December, uh, 2023. So, guys, we'll be keeping you up to date the latest here, uh, on daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. Pleasure.